Mark, we're hearing some new details about a case out of Graham County that led to a woman's death. Caribe, really strange case. Four months after the mysterious death of an inmate in police custody, 12 News now has exclusive new details on what happened. It started last December when 28-year-old Jordan Sims died after police say she jumped out of a police transport vehicle just days after she claimed that she had been sexually assaulted by a police officer. Team 12's Michael Doudna joins us with the latest. For the first time, we are seeing and hearing from Jordan Sims in jailhouse phone calls and interviews obtained exclusively by 12 News, where she describes in her own words what happened to her shortly before she died. Hello, you have a prepaid call from Jordan Sims, an inmate at Graham County Jail. Jailhouse phone calls between a mother and daughter. The first call coming December 23rd, two days after Jordan Sims was arrested by Safford police officer Jeremiah French. Mommy, please listen to me. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. Please, I need you right now more than ever. Jordan would tell her mother that Officer French sexually assaulted her while they were alone in a hospital room. Just kept talking. Everything was going to be okay. Everything was going to be okay. He said, just don't make me look stupid. He starts just rubbing on my body on top of my clothes. And then he moves his hand down farther in my pants and he starts, I don't want to talk about this no more. According to reports, French did not have his body camera on during the arrest. But upon arrival to the jail, video shows Jordan would try to make an escape and was then wrestled to the ground. I took off running from the officer that was <laughs> Officer French is on leave and under investigation, while his attorney says he adamantly denies all allegations against him and believes he will be cleared. Now, after making the allegation and running from the jail, Jordan would be held in solitary confinement, stripped of her clothes, given only a smock and a blanket. I can't handle being in this lockdown cell. Like, I need you right now. I need you more than ever. On December 23rd, Sims went through her first sexual assault exam and claims that when she was brought back to the jail, she was assaulted again, this time by a female officer. <laughs> Jailhouse video shows Sims being taken into a holding room before walking into the shower room with a female officer. The door shuts. Then two minutes later, it opens again when the female officer leaves. It was during that two minutes that Jordan says the female officer assaulted her, but the officer currently denies it. Merry, Merry Christmas, Mommy. It would be on Christmas Day that Sims would talk to her mother for the final time. I want to know why I haven't been examined. The day after Christmas, Jordan would be taken for her second sexual assault exam. And I had seen her previously um, for an incident. The examiner said there was additional bruising, but found no evidence of sexual assault by the female officer. But she did note other sexual injuries had not healed from the previous visit. She then would recommend that Jordan should go to a hospital to check on stomach pain, but Jordan would never make it. Allegedly, just two blocks from the hospital, Jordan escaped her handcuffs, belly chain, and ankle restraints before jumping out of the police transport. Throws it to the hospital and stuff, and all of a sudden the door opens. These doors are supposed to open on the inside. Jordan would die as a result of those injuries. And remember, this all happened just two blocks from the hospital. Tomorrow night, we'll take a closer look into exactly what happened in that accident and what officers themselves had to say immediately afterwards. We're in Phoenix. Michael Doudna, 12 News.